those who are sitting inside and I have charged them and I said in front of these five senior teachers I am not going to drink water my respect is over because they have abandoned us when we were seeking help from the authority Alleging our demand as baseless, I want to say that if it was baseless uh, demands, then our demand was never fulfilled. We are crying for many years, many months, but authority is not listening to us. Uh, I just want to share my emotions, especially I'm so like uh, moved and by all your supports, especially our ladies, all the ladies, teachers, our teachers, especially all the lady teachers were really supportive since from morning. Thank you so much to all the ladies and uh, from our side, I think I have already raised a question to all the five senior members, senior teachers, those who are sitting inside, and I have charged them. Yes, yes, I was very yes, emotional yes, and I have charged yes, them. And I said, in front of these five senior teachers, I am not going to drink water. My respect is over. Because they have abandoned us when we were seeking help from the authority. If they could have supported us, us we would not really need to protest. That is what I have uh, expressed my uh, like uh, emotions to them. And this is an example even to all the senior teachers out there. Uh, tomorrow we may also be in the same place. We should not be able to if this is, if any matters, any papers is against of teachers, against the welfare of the teachers, then sign nahi karna hai or support bhi nahi karna hai authority ke. This is the lesson for every one of you. And I have raised this question. Please, let's support one another for the good cause, for the welfare of all the entire fraternity, taki ya me santi ho. Sukoon se hamlo kaam kare. We will be very productive. We will give the best to our students in this university. Thank you, everybody, once again. Thank you so much. Along with my executive body, we went to competent authority rooms and there we discussed with the Honorable BC and discussed on our four demands which we are asking for fulfillment since, two, uh, since uh, July 2020. So ultimately BC or Honorable Vice Chancellor has agreed to fulfill our, all our demands. So we are grateful to Honorable BC and he promised us that by evening uh, after one program is there, after that program he will uh, give us the communications that uh, all the demand has been fulfilled. So we will wait for that. So if by evening uh, that uh, writing assurance does not come to us, then we will again discuss our next strategy. Some of you, like, you know, your executive member have mentioned regarding supplementary demands also you have here in front of VC. Like, you know, uh, that we will discuss. Uh, I have not taken any decision on that supplementary demands. So we will take decision and then we will look into it. Then we will, uh, if necessary, we will give a representation to the authority. So at this moment, I think it may not be nice to talk about that. So we have to first... Uh, discuss it in detail. After that, only we'll uh, decide for some actions. Uh, mm. Sir, what will be your thought uh, on this? Like, generally, we see students protesting in the campus, and then mm. today the other way around. Mm. So uh, recently, there was a statement by the vice chancellor mm. uh, two days back saying uh, that the RGUTA are running a parallel authority, and then they are also there. Whatever their demands are very. Big. Baseless. And he has also mentioned regarding that there is no any commencement uh, from his end uh, in order to meet all the demands. As 
uh, as told by the RGUTA earlier that uh, only the, there was no any written uh, assurance but he has assured verbally but he has however denied on the verbal assurance also. So how far you are convinced regarding today's meet also and if you can just share what are uh, you know like apart from agreeing on the demands uh, do you think that uh, it will come up into some amicable uh, properly in a written form and all? So regarding the comments of uh, our Honourable Vice-Chancellor in which was published in newspapers so I don't want to say anything on that so that is up to him that this is personal personal views but uh, regarding uh, alleging our demand as baseless I want to say that if it was baseless uh, demands then uh, uh, Honourable Vice-Chancellor might not agree to the to fulfill all our demand if it is baseless so that uh, uh, clear the things then uh, Another thing was, yata another ek dusra. So like he was saying uh, that like yeah, the same thing only uh, regarding the baseless thing and all. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, baseless thing. If it is baseless, we see. I, I, I don't find such uh, comment there. Baseless. The DC Honorable Vice Chancellor did not say that. And then he also hmm. said that like. Uh, there was no any assurance from his end, verb, even verbally also, like that he has mentioned. Ah, uh, like, the, till because today there was no, uh, yeah, verbal assurance was there by the competent authority, but by as a uh, honourable vice chancellor, uh, 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 in person he never assured verbally. But their discussion was go going on, going on like that. This uh, discussion after discussions, but. Uh, assurance by the competent, competent authority as all was there but uh, it was never I mean our demand was never fulfilled so that's why uh, this situation come we teacher also know that in this way uh, you know we are grown up and we all are intellectual people so we also don't like uh, agitation and all protest and all but we are crying for many years many months but authority is not listening to us that's why uh, last time also we said if you Resolve it for us, then uh, we will not go for all this kind of democratic moment. In spite of that, they didn't listen to us. So that's why the situation is like this. These circumstances is still like Sir. this.